Hi there. Yernaval ended a week ago. The event this year was a little bit different. It was purely digital because of the pandemic. But once again, the largest naval defense show in the world did not disappoint. It was packed with innovations of all sorts and new ship designs unveiled for the first time. Overall, a great display of naval technologies. In this video, I wanted to share with you the five topics that really caught your attention, the top stories that Naval News published in the Euronaval show daily. Making our top five was a Kraken assault boat unveiled by French group Turgis and Gaillard. Designed to replace RHIBs, it features two variable geometry pods acting as a retractable hydrofoil, providing speed and stability even in heavy seas. The Kraken is also an amphibious craft. It is equipped with three rows of motorized wheels under its main hull, meaning it doesn't need any support vehicles or facilities to be deployed from the shore. It also means that it can be taken inland right after beaching. The Kraken uses an electric propulsion system for stealthy and silent operations. It also carries a range extender providing it with a range of 240 nautical miles. In fourth position is Naval Group's SMX-31E, a full electric concept submarine based on the SMX-31 which was unveiled at Euronaval 2018. With increased mobility, improved remote sensors and access to a distributed underwater network, the SMX-31E also benefits from an unmatched energy storage capacity and a new propulsion concept. Its batteries generate enough energy for more than 60 days of operations at 5 knots and more than 30 days at 8 knots. With a length of 77 meters and a displacement of 3,200 tons, it is larger than the current Scorpion-class submarine. It has a crew of only 15 sailors. According to Naval Group, the SMX-31E could very well become an operational submarine. It would require 10 years of development and another decade for construction and sea trials. More likely, the SMX-31E will remain a concept submarine, but some of its sensors, energy architecture and operational approach will likely be integrated in current and future submarine designs. My interview with the head of General Atomics on EMOLs and the future French aircraft carrier drew a lot of interest and made the top 3. That's probably because the company shared this great artist impression with us. While the French Armed Forces Minister confirmed during Euronaval that a PANG program would be launched, we are still waiting for the official announcement and green light by the French President. As we reported this week on NavalNews.com, this announcement is expected in the coming weeks now. In second position, the HSAB-20 high-speed patrol boat. This radical new design was unveiled by French shipyard CMN who describes it as a stealth high-speed craft able to perform the tasks required by a high-speed assault boat missions profile. The vessel can perform patrol and surveillance missions both in open ocean and coastal waters. Other missions include maritime police and security operations, power projection, support of naval special forces and even amphibious assault operations. The vessel features a four ramp for disembarking up to 24 troops directly on the littoral. It has a length of 19 meters, a maximum speed in excess of 40 knots and a range of 500 nautical miles. And our top story of your naval this year covered the new Suffren submarine of the French Navy. Famous submarine expert H.I. Sutton in his article called the Suffren class a game changer for the French Navy because the new submarines will be larger, carry more weapons and overall be much more capable compared to the existing Ruby class SSNs. His article came with this great cutaway of the submarine showing some details of the SSN's configuration as well as its weapons package. The first-in-class submarine started sea trials this year and incidentally conducted its first ever naval cruise missile test firing during your naval. The French Defense Procurement Agency shared these pictures showing the successful test of the missile. That's it guys for our top 5 your naval stories. I hope you enjoyed the video. One last thing I wanted to share with you, we reached 30,000 subscribers on YouTube last week. So thank you so much for your support, it is thanks to you. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more great naval news content coming your way.